Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to change compatibility level of a database and why do we need to do that. And in this video, we'll be learning to change compatibility of a database using SQL Server Management Studio, a graphic user interface, and using T-SQL script. And uh, I'll be showing you there, there are store procedure uh, also that you can use to change the compatibility of the database. Um, and uh, why do we need to change the compatibility right here on the right side if you look at it I have a SQL Server version and um, and compatibility number SQL Server 2005 has 90 SQL Server 2800 2012 110 and SQL 2014 is 120 and when we will use graphic user interface you will see that these um, this will show up and SQL Server version and compatibility number will show up and you can choose whatever you would like to do that so let's go ahead and talk about why do we need to do that we sometimes um, we upgrade our SQL Server with different ways let's say that we're upgrading a, a database to uh, from SQL Server 2012 to 2014 and if we have if we're using a method called um, backup and restore which is one of the uh, uh, good way to um, upgrade or move your database migrate your database to a higher version and sometimes um, if you we do that it will not change the compatibility number of the target database that you just moved to 2014 you have to manually go ahead and do it and sometimes we tend to forget that and we do our testing on a wrong compatibility number so that um, basically when we do backup and restore on a target server we need to change the compatibility number and then uh, test our applications so that is a one way that um, you can think of that why it is important to look at the compatibility number and change the compatibility level of any database and second is there are uh, sometimes you move you migrate your uh, database to a higher version however your application is still sitting out there uh, which will not support the compatibility which is uh, uh, higher versions which is 2012 and you knew you need to uh, move back to your um, uh, uh, the compatibility of that particular database 200 where which is supported for your application and that way that's the another reason that you need to change the compatibility of a database but that's not really a famous reason basically it's much more of a testing when you migrate to higher version you need to change the compatibility because uh, uh, with the restore one example is restore uh, backup and restore doesn't uh, automatically change the compatibility to to the current version or higher version that you're trying to do so make sure that you uh, look into the compatibility and see you maybe can create a SQL Server policy and check that whether the compatibility is really the current SQL Server let's say if it's 2014 is 120 of all database if once you evaluate your policy it'll show you that the databases that's not uh, the compatibility the, the uh, database com doesn't have compatibility of the current SQL Server version. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you using graphic user interface and then we'll be using T-SQL script and store procedure you can basically go ahead and uh, uh, look and master uh, we can we can use that store procedure I will not be using this in the beginning I said that I'll be showing you to do that but there is a way if you wanted to look into it you can look in the master database and there is a store procedure called SP underscore compat change so um, up here these are the two easiest ways that we could do this and um, let's go ahead and do this this is my SQL server right here <clears throat> and as you can see these are my databases in order to see the compatibility of a database you need to right click on that database and click on properties and go to options and if you go to options you will see the compatibility level right here in order to change a compatibility level you need to click on the current comp compatibility right here it says SQL Server 2012 even though it is SQL Server 2014 this is the database I did uh, backup and restore from 2012 so um, it is still showing SQL Server 2012 so I would like to basically go ahead and change that to my current uh, SQL Server which is SQL Server 2014 and number for that compatibility is right here SQL Server 2014 120 right here so we're gonna go ahead and select that 
and that's all basically you need to do and there are best practices how to change the compatibility and one of the best practices is that you need to put your database in a single user mode change the compatibility bring it back to the uh, a multi uh, uh, user mode your database and that is much more effective effective uh, as far as you're doing your UAT uh, on that particular database but this is the way you don't need to do anything uh, if you wanted to quickly change it uh, you can go ahead and all the connection that's already there uh, will not be impacted by this change but um, after that uh, once you make new connection that will be impacted by this change so we're going to go ahead and click OK and let's go ahead and run asterisk from sys.databases let's go ahead and then just get the database name and compatibility level so if we run this command you will see the compatibility level of all the databases in your particular instance so uh, right here it is changed to 120 and you can go ahead and basically right click and go to properties and use the same method and go back to the previous compatibility and then you can run this command to see if it's changed as you can see it is changed so let's go ahead and use a T SQL script right here to do the same thing I'm gonna go ahead and load my T SQL script it's very simple use master you're gonna go ahead and alter database demo set compatibility this but as I said that best practices says that alter database put it in single user mode and then change the compatibility to your new com compatibility number and then you can go ahead and put the database in multi-user mode that's the best practice from uh, Microsoft so we're gonna go ahead and run this command and now let's go ahead and this is much easier way to do this and then it'll give you column as you can see you can go back and set it back to 110 and then we're gonna go ahead and execute this this is much easier right here so this is how basically you um, change the compatibility level of a database using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL and we did talk about a little bit um, uh, why do we need to do that uh, in as far as changing the compatibility level of the uh, SQL Server database and I hope this video helps.